welcome back to the mission so it's been a long while since my last video I think I'll say that every single time at this time uh, it's been a few months even though I started putting the video together last year I haven't got around to doing the speaking part of it as you can see behind me the tank and the uh, storeroom uh, for the new new water tank and uh, the pumping equipment and filter equipment is all finished behind me um, some of the videos you will see were from last year um, the drought that we passed through, the food aid, the digging out of the uh, local dam, the rain coming and filling it and so um, you know, some of these videos are old, some of them are, are new and so I trust uh, you will be blessed as you watch, be encouraged uh, thank you for all that you have done I pray that the Lord will continue to bless his word and his work Many of you will remember when we first came here, the roads were really bad. Whenever it rained, everything would turn to mud, the cars would get stuck, the lorry would get stuck. We'd have people coming here, the bus drivers saying, can you pull us out? Um, we've been stuck in, in the mud. And it brings us a lot of problems. And even in the, the ministry, we weren't able to get to the classes. The women weren't able to get to the shops to get the, the food shops. And um, it would become uh, quite, quite difficult at times. But the government decided, uh, as a favour to one of their engineers, to uh, tarmac the road that runs past the mission. Now, there are many, many other roads that they could have done, so our, doing our road is quite um, amazing. We see it as a, an act of grace, uh, an act of providence. Uh, the, the road that runs straight past the mission is going to be tarmacked or has been tarmacked now it's been completed so we can drive from the mission all the way to Ukunda which is about an hour or so away uh, without going through any any mud or having any rough roads and so it's been a real blessing and a real help uh, to the work of the Lord here Back in 2021, um, our area was uh, in drought. It hadn't rained for some time. The rains that did come were uh, very few, and so the harvest failed. Uh, this increased our food aid output to about 200 uh, people uh, per per week. Uh, obviously, that put quite a bit of a strain on on the mission, but. The Lord uh, provided, we had the funds uh, to assist, um, but that drought has continued even now if you look at uh, our plot, you see the grass is only just beginning to grow uh, due to a rain about uh, three days ago. The people are still afraid to plant, they're not uh, sure whether the rains will come again and so they're still uh, just waiting. We're also waiting for the rains to come so that the tank may be filled we're down to about um, 10,000 litres uh, at the moment and so the video you're, watch, you're about to watch is of the the food aid program and then later on we installed a hand pump over the top of our saltwater borehole
As the drought continued, um, the local dam uh, ran very, very low. So we decided to uh, increase uh, the, the size of it by uh, digging out the edges. So we started with, uh, with that and then as we um, continued, the, the dam ran out completely. And so we thought, well, as there's no water, we'll try and dig all of the silt out. There was about two foot of silt uh, through the whole dam. And so we divided the week up into three days, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And each day we had between 60 and 100 people uh, digging. Uh, we were providing them with food and paid them for a day's labour. Uh, this helped uh, mostly the women. They, um, they came, they did a day's work, we gave them uh, some money and uh, they went home to their families. So we had a, a rotor going, so no one was able to work twice in a week. So every morning there could have been at least 200 or so people waiting at the dam for work, for their names to be read out and then uh, they would work for the day. So watch the video, see what we did. It was quite a hectic uh, few weeks, but um, we achieved uh, a lot. And then just about as we were about to finish, we had about uh, two days remaining, uh, the rain came and uh, filled the dam.
you have just seen is the effect of answered prayer. The tank uh, that I'm walking on now was meant to be my last project and we thought that everything that the mission was completed and uh, it's just a few finishing touches but the church uh, seemed to have uh, an increase in numbers and so in the building that we're using it was quite full so we didn't know what to do so we began to pray about it and to see if it was the Lord's will uh, that we should build a, a chapel building we prayed about it uh, for about two to three weeks and then we had an email from somebody who had allocated some money to be used for the building of uh, a chapel and if we had considered building one they were quite willing to start off the project and so we said to them that we had been praying about it and they sent the money to us and so the first job was to move, remove the chicken house and then to begin the foundations so although I thought all my work was done my last project to do is the building of um, a chapel and we hope that uh, I'll have it finished in time by the end of the year and uh, that uh, it will be full uh, with people praising and worshipping our Creator and Saviour, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. So we have started, we're up to just above the window height now. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll try and keep you updated on the progress on the church and the other ministry of the mission here. May the Lord bless you each and thank you very much for your prayerful interest.